This is one of my favorite topics in calculus. Basically, for the rest of the semester, we're going to be learning how to do calculus on surfaces. So, so far, we've been doing calculus on in R2, pretty much. Occasionally in R3, but typically in R2. Um, and we've, of course, in Calc 1, we did calculus on R. For the rest of the class, we're basically going to be doing calculus on surfaces. So we're going to have functions defined on, say, a sphere or a paraboloid or a cylinder or something like that. And we're going to see how we can integrate those functions and what it means to integrate those functions over those surfaces. So in this warm up video, we're going to start with these two questions. What is the vector parameterization of the curve y equals x squared in R2? So this is going to be a two dimensional vector function of one parameter. And typically the way that we do this y we need an x coordinate and a y coordinate we're given that x is a fun or that y is a function of x so the x coordinate is just going to be the parameter t and then the y coordinate is just going to be t squared okay we've seen similar things like this before let me do another example let's say we have a uh, we want to find the parameterization of this circle of radius one centered at zero zero this is another common one this does not give uh, y as a function of x, but we know that the parameterization is going to be r of t equals cosine t sine t. Okay, so two things to observe here. Um, one, there's not really just a general method that says for any curve in, R, in R2, here's how you find a vector parameterization. We had to do two different things for each of these examples. The second thing is to note that a curve has one parameter. It's parameterized by one parameter. Let's go on to this next question. What is the vector parameterization of the plane with normal equation x plus y plus z is equal to zero? Well, remember that the, the parameterization of a plane is given in terms of two parameters, and this is just equal to a point on the plane, x naught, y naught, z naught, plus s, times a vector that is parallel to the plane, plus t times another vector that is parallel to the plane. Okay, so how can we figure out what v1 and v2 are? Well, let's say that p0, p1, p2 are points on the plane. Then we could say v1 is equal to p0, p1 and v2 is equal to p0 p2 so more explicitly let's find three points that are on the plane we know that the origin is on the plane that satisfies the equation for the plane uh, and now let's say that we know let's say we know that x and y are both equal to one well, this means z has to be minus 2 so that x plus y plus z is equal to 0. And let's say we know that y, another point, we'll say we can assume we can find a point where y and z coordinates are equal to 0. This means x has to be minus 2. So p0, p1. This vector is 1, 1, minus 2. And p0, p2 this vector is minus 2 1 1 there's uh, other other choices possibly simpler choices that we could have picked uh, but the, these are some of the choices okay so then we could say the parameterization or a parameterization for the plane would be s uh, r of st so the point 0 0 0 is on the plane so this could just be s 1 1 minus 2 plus t minus 2 comma 1 comma 1. Okay, so this is a parameterization for the plane. And furthermore, let's just let's observe that every point of this form lies on the plane. So the we want to show that x plus y plus z is equal to 0. x is s minus 2t, y is s plus t, and z is minus 2s plus t. 
Notice that there's a minus 2t plus t plus t, an s plus s minus 2s, so that's equal to 0. And so every point of this, of this form here lies on the plane. And so this is a parameterization for the plane. Okay, okay this was an introduction. In the next few videos, we're going to look at parameterizing more interesting surfaces.